All right, now that our bottle is filled, let's fill a gun. This is the Benjamin Marauder PCP air rifle. It's got an air gauge on the bottom that we will refer to. And when I'm filling a gun, I always like to refer to the gauge on the gun because that's the one that's getting the pressure and is going to give me uh, the most accurate reading. So I'm going to turn this over so I can see it. <clears throat> Remove the uh, cap from the connection. At this point, we want to connect our bottle. This is a standard Foster fitting. You just pull the cuff back and slip it over the connection like that. Tug on it, make sure it's, it's connected well, it's not going to come off. <clears throat> now at this point you want to make sure your tank is secure. You don't want it flopping around on a tailgate where it may fall off and either get damaged or damage someone. Another thing you need to remember, these tanks have a very high flow rate and that simply means the air is going to come out of it really fast. So you want to open the valve slowly and allow the air to uh, make its way into the gun at an easy to control rate. <clears throat> So in order to begin, we want to close the bleed valve. Make sure the bleed valve is closed. Black knob against your, your valve, you want to slowly open it. So I've got a hold of the tank, opening the valve, looking at the gauge on the gun, slowly open it. You don't want to fill your gun too quickly. I'm at 2,000, 25, 3,000. When you're filling your gun, that pressure creates heat. So what I like to do is, once I've turned off the valve, let that heat dissipate. And I can see that I, the gun has settled at about 2,700. And I want to really have it closer to 3,000. So let's go ahead and turn it up and it will go up a little bit to 3,000. That's, that's close enough. Now I need to bleed this line. I need to rid it of the air it contains. So I'm going to turn the silver knob. You'll hear the whoosh of air. All right, now at this point, it's safe to disconnect. <clears throat> the gun is filled. You can see it on the gauge. And we are ready to go shooting.